Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christine. I will list all my socials down below. Now today you will see my entire collection of eyeshadow palettes. I know this is probably gonna be a longer video than expected because I have so many, like I literally have so many eyeshadow palettes, but you get to see what I like. Some I actually have that I'm not too fond of, but I just kept just because I'm a makeup collector and I like the packaging, but I will let you know along the way, as well as I'll let you know if I have a review on a particular palette, just in case you wanna go back and look at those reviews back in my videos. Now, before we get started, please make sure that you are subscribed. I would love to have you here. Click that little subscribe button and under notified put all just so that way you can be notified every single time I post a video. With that being said, let's just get started. So you can see I have no makeup on. I did mention to you guys that I am moving. The movers are actually coming in tomorrow. So I am packing up my beauty room and I figure, let me show you guys what I have in terms of eyeshadow palettes. I do have Kimchi has, Kimchi, if you don't know who she is, she is a drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. She's well known for RuPaul's Drag Race, but I followed her beforehand just because I loved her makeup skills. So she has a makeup collection. Now, if there's anything throughout this video that you see that you would like for me to review, please list it down below and I'll gladly make a list just so that way when the movers actually do come with my stuff, I can start the videos up. But Kimchi has a collection. She she made a collaboration with Naomi Smalls, which is another drag race performer. And look, you can see I didn't even open it yet. I've just been so busy. So this is the full collection. If you guys wanna see a review on this, please let me know. She also came out with four of these little mini palettes. So of course I didn't open up these either because I've just been so busy. But if you wanna see a review on these, then let me know as well. Next, I have some Ace Butte palettes. These I actually am obsessed with. I have reviews on all of them. I will show you what they look like just so you can see. So this one is Classical Paradise. So it's a great fall palette. And the pigmentation on these palettes is insane. This one is a more colorful palette. And this one is called Slice of Paradise. This third one is Blossom Passion. And this is more of a pink and red eyeshadow palette. This is a purple one. This is called Paradise Fallen. If you guys wanna check the review on these, they are under my review section. You can just look for the videos on that. This is another indie brand called Spoiled Cosmetics. They collaborated with an influencer makeup artist. Her name is Sydney Nicole, and it's kind of like a Halloween palette. Well, it is a Halloween palette. Really cute palette. That's what it looks like. The next palettes I have are from Lunar Beauty, Life's a Drag. This was his first palette that he came out with. Super pigmented. Moonspell, which is one of my favorites. It's a Halloween palette. I have a review on this up on my channel if you guys want to see it. This is the Strawberry Dream palette. And this I have a review, a review on as well. Next, I only have one MAC eyeshadow palette. I just feel like they fell off like more recently, but I did get the MAC Selena because I'm obsessed with Selena. And even though I wasn't really too fond of the eyeshadow palette, I had to get it just because it was Selena. So I do have a review on my channel about this palette. Next, I have some Hank and Henry palettes. I have the Teddy palette, the Living in Color, and the Poison palette. So the Teddy palette, this is what it looks like. Very cute color selection. The Poison palette, I actually have a review on this on my channel. I love the color selection on here. Living in Color palette, I also have a review on. This is what it looks like. Next, this is the 
Moschino X Sephora palette. Now you guys, when this came out, I know everybody raved about it. I actually have the, the um, makeup brushes as well with this. Let me open it up so you guys can see. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. And it's so freaking cute. If you're a collector, this is like so cute on your vanity. Next, I have ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. Now, believe it or not, even though they're inexpensive, they actually have really great pigmentation in terms of their eyeshadow palettes. So this one is the Hocus Pocus ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I did have a review on this and a giveaway on this. But if you want to see the review, obviously the giveaway is closed, but if you want to see the review, it's on my channel. Next, we have the Frozen X ColourPop. I actually have both of them. I got like the full collections. Um, this is the Anna. So it comes in this box and it comes with the lipstick, the lip gloss, uh, all body glitter, and the eyeshadow palette. This was a very pigmented eyeshadow palette. I actually have a review on both of them on my channel. This is the Elsa collection. Opening it up, again, it has the same items as the Anna box, and this is the eyeshadow palette. Next, I do have some Natasha Denona palettes. Natasha Denona is crazy pigmented. The only problem is she is on the expensive side, but she's worth it. So if you can snag one of her palettes, then I definitely think you should. So this is the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, and this is what it looks like. And I do have a review on my channel of this palette. The second one, these, if you cannot afford the full palettes or you just don't wanna pay that much, which I don't blame you, but um, she has like these little minis and these are super affordable. So this is the Natasha Denona Cranberry palette. And I just fell in love with the color selection on this one. I do have a Viseart palette. This is a um, Libertine palette. Again, Viseart is another brand that is super pigmented in terms of their eyeshadows. And this is what the palette looks like. Next, I only have one Huda Beauty palette. This is actually the only one that I've gravitated towards, to be completely honest. This is the Desert Dusk palette. And then inside, oh, that's the little slip. But inside, these are the colors. Very pigmented palette. Next, I have some Anastasia palettes. Now, I have quite a few of them. I'm a big fan of her eyeshadow palettes. I actually think, I've, to be completely honest, all the palettes that I've had, I've never had issues with and I've enjoyed quite much. So this is the Amrezy palette. I do have a review on my channel of this palette. So if you want to see it, you can just click on my reviews and check it out. But this is what it looks like. Very Barbie. Next, Anastasia, she collaborated with the drag queen, Alyssa Edwards, who is one of my top favorite drag queens. I have been obsessed with her ever since her season on Drag Race. And this is the eyeshadow palette that she came up with, with Anastasia. I do have a review on this on my channel, so you can check it out. I created a beautiful look with it. These are the colors. Next, Anastasia with Norvina. Norvina, if you guys don't know, Norvina is her daughter and they collaborated with this palette. So it's the Norvina palette and this is the color selection. I do have a review of this on my channel as well. Next, we have the Prism palette. This is what it looks like. This one is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is what it looks like. So this is like very OG Anastasia Beverly Hills. Next is the Riviera palette. Oh, I raved about this. I have a review on, the, on my channel with this palette. Such beautiful colors. Now these are like, a, I don't know if it's a subcategory within Anastasia Beverly Hills but it's basically ABH Norvina collection. She did come out with three palettes as well as minis. I didn't purchase any of the minis just because I felt like they were similar to these or they had colors similar to these. So I do have all three palettes. This one is, this is the volume three. So this was the last one. Oh, now if you're a makeup artist, whether it's freelance or any, these palettes are such a good deal, such 
an amazing palette to have just because of the color variations that these palettes portray and, and just the color story in general. Um, I do have reviews on my channel of all three collections, so you can check that out. This is the volume one. This has to be, I think, everyone's favorite. Such vibrant, beautiful colors. This is the volume two palette. This is more blue tone palette. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, if you guys are obsessed with colorful eyeshadows, I would definitely recommend getting one or all three of these palettes. Next, I have Jeffree Star Cosmetics. You guys know I have raved about this brand in particular just because I am obsessed with his packaging. I'm obsessed with his eyeshadows. I think they're super pigmented. Um, this is the Conspiracy palette. This was the collaboration with Shane Dawson. This is what it looks like. I do have a review on my channel of this palette. I do have some minis. I have the Mini Breaker and the Mini Controversy palette. So these are what they look like. Thirsty palette. This is what it looks like. That's the inside. Beauty Killer, which is his first palette that he's ever came out with. This is what it looks like. Next, I have the Androgyny palette. This is what it looks like. Next, I have the Drawbreaker palette. Oh, look at the color selection on this. This is just gorgeous. For summer, oh. Next, I actually have two of the Blue Blood palettes. So I have one that's still in the box just because I was obsessed with it. And this is the Blue Blood palette. Again, another trunk style. Opening it up. Oh my God, look at the colors. Next, we have the Blood Sugar palette. He recently came out, he re-released the Blood Sugar line in terms like an anniversary edition. So this is actually my first eyeshadow palette that I had when he first, you know, came out with it. But this is what it looks like. This is the Blood Sugar. Next, I have the Alien palette. So this is what it looks like. Opening it up. I did purchase the Cremated palette. I purchased this palette because it's great for like shading and detailed work with face paints. So this is the Cremated palette. Next, this is the Bloodlust. Oh, such a beautiful palette. I have a review on my channel of this palette, but this is what the palette looks like. Now look at this, this is like very Prince vibes, purple velvet such a beautiful staple if you're a makeup collector. I did purchase the Blood Money. I purchased this along with the minis. I just haven't been able to even open it up yet, which is insane, but I've just been so busy moving and, and trying to like situate myself. But if you guys wanna see a review of this on my channel, just let me know down below. This is an indie brand. You guys know I am always for supporting an indie brand especially when it's a small one. And um, Glam Light in particular, this is like, I think one of the first palettes, one of the first that she came out with. She's a Latina and of course, I was gonna support my fellow Latina. So this is the pizza palette. I'm obsessed. Look, I had to keep the unicorn. Look at how freaking cute this is. This is literally like a pizza delivery. That's the palette inside and it looks like an actual pizza. I didn't do a review on this, but if you wanna see it, please let me know, and I will. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Such an adorable freaking palette, I can't even. Another indie brand, Certify. This is the Tropical Wonders palette. Super pigmented palette. I actually used this palette in one of my videos for learning how to create a colorful eye. This palette is gorgeous. Look at all the colors. Pinky Rose is again another indie brand. Uh, this is the Bright Lights palette. This is what it looks like. Very pigmented. Violet Voss. I have two of their eyeshadow palettes. This is the Flamingo eyeshadow palette. That's what it looks like. 
inside colors are gorgeous this one is the rainbow eyeshadow palette oh the colors in this oh my god so beautiful on the lid so this i have the zulu by juvia's and the magic by juvia's so this is the zulu oh there goes that slip oh my god the colors in here gorgeous the magic this is what the magic looks like oh my god so gorgeous next i have some be perfect cosmetics this again is another indie brand from the uk their eyeshadows are insane super freaking pigmented it's it's insane this was the first one that i purchased from them you guys know i have raved about this palette this is the carnival palette it also has like highlighter shades, but oh my God, such a beautiful palette. This one, I actually have a review on my channel of this palette. This is the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette from Be Perfect Cosmetics and opening it up, this is what it looks like. Oh my God, if you're a lover of colorful eyeshadows, this is like, why? This is like a dream, a perfect dream. Next, fairly new indie brand, but he took the makeup world by storm. You guys probably know him from Instagram as Mama Mom Mitchell. He came out with his first collection and it literally had two eyeshadow palettes in that collection. I have both of them. I'm obsessed. I have reviews on my channel of these. Feet on the ground palette. This is what it looks like. Look at how gorgeous. From the packaging to the color story, this is the head in the clouds. Oh my God, look at this. Oops, there goes that slip, but look at this. This color story, insane. Next, I have a Makeup Revolution with Alexis Stone. This was a collaborated palette. So this is what it looks like in the front. And this is what it looks like inside. Very wearable palette. I love that there's different shade variants of each colors that goes down the line. Uh, Pure came out with a collaboration with Barbie. I do have a review on this on my channel, but this is what it looks like in the outside. So gorgeous. Inside, this is definitely a collector's item. Inside, this is what it looks like. Next, I have some NYX Cosmetics palettes. Now, NYX is very inexpensive, but believe it or not, for the most part, or the ones that I've tried, their eyeshadows are pretty good. They came out with an In Your Elements collection. So I have the water, the air, the wind, and the fire. So this is the water, this is the air, the wind, and this is the fire. Next, I have the NYX Avant Pop palette. So this is what it looks like. This one is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, and it's such a cute, colorful palette. Next, I only have one palette from Kylie Cosmetics. <laughs> I'm sure if, if you guys have seen my review on this channel of this palette, I mean, I wasn't wowed by it, but I did keep it because it's such a cute collector's item. This is the Kylie X Grinch. And I do have some Kat Von D. This is before her makeup brand was sold to someone else, but this is the actual Kat Von D palettes. This one is the Saint or Sinner eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. This one is like her anniversary one. What was it? A 10 year anniversary eyeshadow palette from Kat Von D. So this is what it looks like, very beautiful. Gold trim, look at that. Next, I have some Urban Decay palettes. Urban Decay has beautiful formulation in terms of their eyeshadow palettes. The only thing is that a lot of the times, in my opinion, it's boring for the most part. Like, I'm never really wowed by a lot of their palettes, but the ones that I am wowed by, I do have them here. So this is the Urban Decay X Kristen Leanne. Now she is a influencer on Instagram and she collaborated with Urban Decay. So this is the eyeshadow palette that they came out with. Next, this is the Beached eyeshadow palette. Super wearable palette. Look, it just 
looks like this, opens up like this. Literally all the colors when you think of the beach are in this palette. This is the Naked Heat. Now, um, Urban Decay came out with a few naked ones and I was already like, oh my God. But this one I loved because I love the color story in this one. One of the very nude eyeshadow palettes that I love. I just love like all the rust colors and they're super pigmented, so I cannot even complain. This is Mel Cosmetics. I want to say like one of my favorite top three brands. It's an indie brand, but the pigmentation is insane. And they always come out with these beautiful collections. This is the Impulsive Palette. Look at this color selection. So gorgeous. And all the colors are so pigmented. So you have your cool tones down here and your warmer tones, sorry, and your warmer tones up here on top. This is the Beetlejuice collection. Oh my God, you guys know I have a review on this on my channel. I was so impressed with this collection. This is the Recently Deceased palette. Now, I left it in the unicorn. Like I said, I, I was gonna keep the box and everything because it's so freaking cute. But look at this, like, oh my God. Such a gorgeous palette. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen any brand come out with something like this. The fact that it's like a colored acrylic, recently deceased. You can see Beetlejuice here. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Opening it up, oops, the slip is in here, but look at this. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I have quite a few reviews of Mel Cosmetics of their um, collections on my channel. So you can definitely check them out if you're curious about them overall as a brand. I have a few reviews on there, but it's such a gorgeous collection. I'll show you guys really quick. With the two eyeshadow palettes, look at this. So gorgeous. Next, Tarte um, came out, I don't know if you guys remember, it was like a unicorn collection. They had these beautiful brushes. I was obsessed with it. So I actually got the whole box. I got it in Sephora. Sometimes it like comes on, then it'll be sold out and then it'll come on again. But this is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself collection. So it's the full collection in here. If you're a makeup lover and a makeup collector, you would definitely appreciate this. Inside, I didn't even use the brushes just because I wanted to keep it exactly how it was. But these are the brushes here. This is the palette and it just, it's gorgeous. Such a beautiful collection for Tarte. Tarte, I feel like has fell off recently, but this is like one of their best collections that they've ever come out with. And I'm so glad to have it. Now stay with me guys, cause these are the last eyeshadows that I think I'm pretty much done, if I'm not mistaken. But um, these pretty much are all indie brands. This is the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Gilded Palette. Now this is what it looks like, gold. Opening it up. If you're a person that loves neutral colors, such a beautiful palette, very pigmented. I love the color story here because it's very warm tone and warm tone just basically is, it just looks better on my skin, complements it well. So this is a really great palette. BH also has a Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So this is more colorful palette. Now the pans are a little smaller, but it's eyeshadow, so, and it's inexpensive. Beautiful color story. This one is a Georgie's Cosmetics. This is a, a very, very indie brand. I purchased this on the website, and I do have a review on this on my channel. This is the Love is Love palette. This is what it looks like. And I don't think it's called review on um, the video. I think it's something like um, testing an indie brand that I've never heard of. That's what it was called, but it's a cute little palette. Is it super pigmented? No, but it's inexpensive and it's cute. This is the Glitter Realm Majestic 2. Great little glitter palette. I've used this countless times and it's still in beautiful condition, but this is like an all glitter palette. So it's great for like toppers on top of your eyeshadow or in a corner if you wanna put some inner corner. Glitter, beautiful, it's such a cute little palette. You can look them up on their website, Glitter Realm. Georgie brushes, um, Georgie Cosmetics, whatever. It's again, that indie brand that I've never heard of. I have a video of that in here. This is the Neon Glow palette. So it's a black light activated palette. That is what it looks like. 
And last but not least, I do have some Morphe palettes. Morphe, I feel, is another brand that, I don't know, I just haven't been interested in lately. But the ones that I do have, I enjoy very much. This one is, what is this one? This is the 3502 palette from Morphe. I love this because again, like I told you, I do face paints. So if I'm doing detailed work for shading, this is a great palette I've used countless times for shading. It has a lot of nice browns, very warm tone palette. And if you're a person that loves nude eyeshadows, you would love this palette. I'm not even sure if they sell this um, still, but they might sell something similar to this, but this is the 3502. Next, this one is the 35S palette. This is a cool tone palette. It has your purples, it has your blues, some greens, one yellow, but it's such a very versatile palette. I enjoy this palette very much. This is the first palette in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. One of my faves. I wasn't too fond of like the other ones, but this one is my favorite. So this is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. I love it because it has a lot of warm tones and it has some cool tones, which is amazing. It's great for travel because it's a very versatile palette. You can do countless looks with this and the pigmentation is great. And one of my favorite palettes from Morphe, this is the Morphe X James Charles palette. I have the big one, but he also came out with a mini that's travel friendly. So if you don't want something so, so big, you have an option. This one, gorgeous freaking palette. I love the color story. That is what it looks like. So that is it. Um, that is it for, in terms of my eyeshadows. I had plenty more, but some of them I gave away. Some of them I donated. So this is pretty much all I have in terms of eyeshadows. I will probably be doing a video recommending to you guys for my face painters out there or face painters that are trying or for my makeup artists that want to dabble in face paint. I want to give you guys recommendations in terms of products. So be on the lookout for that in a few days. Again, I know this is a super long video compared to my others, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stood this long and I will see you guys on the next one. And we'll be in Cali, so maybe I'll do some like vlogs um, since I won't have any of my makeup items. Oh my God, I won't have any of my makeup items. They'll be with the movers and being shipped from Hawaii to California. So maybe I'll do like more vlog style videos. So be on the lookout for those as well. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.